guys it's um, 6 45 in the morning obviously we are no longer in Nevada we're in the beautiful state of Arizona as you guys know that was the state I drifted for the first time in America at a muscle track in Tucson super beautiful state um, we're boogieing all along over here to make it to Albuquerque um, going really well I'm trying to get some sleep because we're gonna be shaking down the car over there so obviously you want to be really um, you want to be really fresh Remember, we said everything has to go perfect for us to be able to test. So we made it to San Dia Speedway in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Some of you drifters may know this place because it has the amazing party that's called No Coast, hosted by my friend, Officer Dan Rocket. And Dan is also the guy who made this possible for us. Thank you so much, Dan. As you guys know, we are really pushing really hard to make FD. Um, the car is done just in time. Um, lots of people lost lots of sleep over it. Our entire crew has basically not had normal sleep for at least four or five days. Um, taking turns sleeping on the couch somewhere, uh, return working on the car at the dyno. Then we had the car aligned really late in Vegas, as you guys have seen. And now we're coming back over here. So um, really cool, everybody's here now. First time we're operating out of the rig on a track. Nate and um, Nick are here. So we're putting the correct wheels on the car. Let it rip, tater chip. Just on my little track walk, oh, a track scoot. Um, this track is amazing. It's very cool. I'm sure it's difficult to tell on video as always Really nice has not a lot of elevation changes, but enough to make it interesting uh, The runoff zones are dangerous. You don't want to go off here This place is rad. It's um Hosting a couple different layouts all in one. You can choose a couple different tracks. There's a really cool oval, which is where I'm on right now. Um, definitely fast track or as fast as you can make it. Nice and wide pavement. So we had an O2 sensor failure. So boys are swapping out the spare O2 sensor right now because um, it's kind of important, uh, especially when we're data logging and remote tuning the car. It's super important to get the right AFR writings on there.
then I put the mark because I want to see rollover on the tire. So that's why I put it in four different spots in the front. I normally do the inside too, but I should do the inside too. How do you liking it, Rich? Feels good. Feels good. Definitely need to get used to it more, but it feels good. Great. <laughs> Man, we're experiencing a lunar eclipse over here. This is nuts. Turn that light off. Oh, what the hell? It's Dude, a spaceship. It's actively changing it. it I mean, it's actually doing it, right? Yeah, it's an eclipse. Rad. This is Whoa, the. Oh, you can't see it in the camera. Oh, it just it looks like. Hello friends, we are here in New Mexico in an area or town called Pecos, a really cool Airbnb. Um, we're hitting the road and we're straight shooting to Florida, which is about um, 23 hours driving and um, do a little, little work on the car. Once we get there, we have some parts on order uh, for the power steering system and um, just a couple dots on the eye. And we'll be ready for FD or then no. We are in Texas, really close to Dallas Fort Worth, or oh, really close, about an hour from there, but everything is big in Texas. So the distance is huge state to travel through. As you guys may remember, my buddy Brian and me drove all the way through here for Drift Week 2 to go from Arizona to Houston. Massive state, it's bigger um, than uh, almost all European countries really cool the rig's doing really fine i'm working uh in the passenger seat eric's doing some weird gestures um yeah so we're driving all through the night non-stop switching drivers all that stuff so we can be in florida on tuesday it's monday right now um it's around 10 at the moment uh i'm super chilled out in the flip-flops it's very warm and humid over here um although we're in the middle of the night and uh, we're gonna get some food. Luckily, there's all these kinds of things, so obviously you guys will know that um, the Buckies, of course, exist in Alabama and all this stuff. We're not yet in Buckies territory, but there's Love's, which is also nice, usually has some kind of restaurant inside. 
typically catering for the big truckers um, so yeah come along with me guys it's a really nice moon that's impossible to see on my headphones but I'm gonna try it anyways maybe if I go a little bit closer to the moon a little bit better is watching manga stuff <laughs> in the truck. It's actually hentai. <laughs> it is hentai, you missed the tentacle part. Oh damn. Well, I'll just keep staring at my nice little moon. This probably looks like a fucked up traffic light in the video. <laughs> it looks like a fucked up traffic light. <laughs> We are just side outside of Jackson, Mississippi, <laughs> Ole Miss. Great to be back in this beautiful state, super nice. Very, very beautiful weather. We drove all through the night. Um, it's about 6.45, quarter to seven. And um, we're making pretty good time on our way to Florida. These are huge hauls, as you can imagine. Um, crossing crossing these massive states and um, I think we're about seven hours away from Orlando and we need to rethink about when we're gonna sleep um, and to the prep the car for tech of course another nice adventure It's not a photo anymore, it's a video now. Oh, so, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, the racing suit was delivered yesterday. So, oh, cool. nice. so the little office over here, the nice truck is being uh, used to its full extent. Yes. Pulling to its full extent, <laughs> uh, hosting people to its full extent, food stuff. Um, yeah, it's, you know, all the stuff you normally never does in a car. Exactly. Eating, eating drinking, drinking eating sleeping. Food. I hate <laughs> eating in a car. No, it's looking good. We've got how, how much to go? Eric He's is still enjoying electric cars. Probably still eight hours. Yeah, like eight hours. Hour. Eric is still watching his manga stuff instead of minding the road. That's fine. We won't put it in the video. <laughs> well, we're in Alabama. It's pretty nice. We only got six hours. Oh, six hours to go. Well, that's kind of fine. About 500 yeah. miles out and then formula drift. Not bad, 1700 miles straight, so it could be worse. Perfect. Great. Don't leave me hanging. Oh shit, sorry about that. I, I brought it. I just. I saw you were going to film mode, so I was like, oh, Film mode? You can be on the film. You should be on the film. But, uh, so. You want to work on the hose? Yeah. So in New Mexico we found out that this reservoir for the power steering was incorrect and the return line I was kind of expecting that 
and we had brought some parts with us and we ordered some parts fitting this reservoir instead which required us to make new lines reroute the coolant hose and just to be sure we changed out the steering rack and the power steering pump obviously a lot of work a lot of small things but we got that done in time don't forget to take a look at our website as well, einzel.nl. We ship worldwide, of course, Wise Fab, Feel Suspension, our own brand, Einzel, gearboxes, quick change differentials, axles, all kinds of things. A lot of fabrication components, of course, air jacks, subframes for quick change, you name it. Drop us an email and we'll hook you up.